Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Kale, Kale Sandwich, Sandwich Show. Show. I'm Raj. And I'm Dee. And here is another beautiful vegan recipe for you guys. Today we are replicating a recipe from a very famous Mexican grill chain. Can we say it? I don't know. They've had some E. coli troubles in the past. I have not trouble saying mm -hmm. that. Their vegetarian option is definitely one of our favorite things to get when we go there. No. It's called sofritas. I guess they know by now. <laughs> yeah. It's called sofritas and it's made with a sofrito sauce. We've made this a few times now since we've eaten it there and I think we've got it like bang on. The I think flavor so, yeah. is very good. You guys yeah. will be surprised at how easy this is and this can be easily become a staple to your weekly weekly meal planning. For this recipe, this is what you'll need. Tomato, green peppers, uh, white onion, garlic, tomato paste. These are chipotle peppers. If you want to use a dry chipotle pepper and just rehydrate it yourself, you can do that as well. But we went with a canned chipotle pepper in adobo sauce. And then for our seasoning, we have paprika, cumin, oregano, and some salt and pepper. And we have tofu. If you want, you can use regular tofu. It's probably less fattening than the fried tofu that we use. But we find that the fried tofu gives you a bit more of a better texture. It tastes more like what they make at this restaurant that we have to eat at. <laughs> it tastes more like it. So if you want to use a regular tofu, you can go ahead and use that. But we're using fried tofu and we're just going to eliminate any oil from the recipe because there's some oil in here already. So first you're going to put your tomatoes, your green peppers, your onions and your garlic in the food processor. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can chop it all up. All we want is a salsa consistency. And we're going to get that going first on a medium high heat for about five minutes. For your tofu, the consistency you want is totally up to you. Basically, acts like your ground meat texture. So if you like it, uh, you know, chunkier or smoother, totally up to you. Don't worry about processing it too much or too little. Basically, this is all done and ready. All we have to do is add it to your favorite dish. Rice, burrito, tacos. All that's left now, besides eating it on its own if you want. This sounds really good. Is assembling it. But I think we're missing some ingredients, Raj. Don't worry, I got you covered. Wow, how'd you do that, Raj? It's just this magic pug mug. You too can have a magic pug mug for only five easy payments of 19.95. That's a steal. That's a steal, guys. So as you can see, as I've so masterfully created this burrito, it's all well contained. One thing we like to do though, to, to make it an easier eating experience, and I know a lot of restaurants do this, is we like to grill it on a pan. What this is, this locks in the shell into place, and it adds that extra crunch, which I love. Another thing you can make with the sofrita is you can make a burrito bowl, which is all the same ingredients, but in a bowl without the tortilla wrap. So if you're gluten-free, you can make this option. So 
We actually made some sour cream the other day. I forgot about it, but we're adding it now. It's a cashew sour cream from apple cider vinegar. And there you have it. Sofrita burrito and your Sofrita burrito bowl. Let's give this a try. So fresh. So fresh. And amazing. It will not disappoint. Nope. If you like this particular product from this particular restaurant we're talking about, you probably know what we're talking about by now. Give it a try. Really good. Give it a try. Stay tuned for new videos and vlogs on the way every week. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, we like food. And we're kind of weird. Mm. More hot sauce. More hot sauce. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.